you can now fly an Imperial TIE Fighter in Starfield. Because, let's face it, there is no possible universe where that was not going to happen. It's an incredibly small ship, as you would expect, and whilst it does have a tiny cockpit that you can stand in, there's not much room for your companion. Oh, and it can have a crew of two, but where they are is a mystery best left untouched, to be honest. You have to build the ship yourself in the shipbuilding menu using 20 new ship parts, and it can be a little fiddly because it is kind of small. You will need to add a line to your Starfield custom.ini file and add the line F shipbuilder module overlap tolerance equals minus four into a section marked spaceship. Otherwise, you're going to have trouble adding some of the smaller items like the laser weapons. There is a very helpful video tutorial showing you exactly how to build it, made by the mod author themselves. It should be noted that whilst the ship handles and looks great in first person, it's so small that in third person you can actually lose your own ship when turning. The ship itself is a monster of a ship. Whatever it's made of makes it as tough as a military cruiser. It packs a serious punch, and it's so fast that you may need to go easy on the boost unless you want to overshoot your target by a couple of solar systems. It's seriously overpowered, but I mean, who cares, right? Unless you want law friendly, because there is no way you can argue that this thing was made by a fan of the 20th century movies using 23rd century technology. It is quite obviously from a galaxy far, far away. Now, the mod author has made many other ships from this particular galaxy, and I'm definitely going to be checking those out. The player homes in Starfield are seriously underfurnished and undecorated when you buy them. But unlike player homes in a game like Skyrim, you can't just pay somebody to decorate for you. You'll need to build everything yourself. And you can't even just buy the furniture and place it yourself. Nope, instead you'll need to go out, harvest all of the raw materials, and then build everything from scratch, like you're living on some sort of frontier planet or desert island. And honestly, I've pretty much not got any time for that at all. At best, I end up putting in a bed, some workbenches, and that's it. But even if I did decide to put the time in and try to decorate it myself, I know that after 20 hours of decorating, it would still just look like an IKEA showroom rather than an actual home. So for me, Ellie's Aquila Stretch Home Overhaul is an absolute godsend. It just furnishes the apartment with everything I'll ever need, things like bed, workbenches, containers, display cases, etc. Um, but it also adds a ton of decorations. You know, weapon displays on the walls, armor mannequins, those sort of things, but just lots of little touches that make the place seem like an actual home. The place is warm, cozy, and has just enough clutter to feel lived in without feeling messy. And of course, it's a home by Eleonora, so there's coffee. And finally, something a little more lighthearted. A Fallout-themed reskin of the laser cutter. Why? Well, I think we all know the answer to this one by now. Why not, right? It's fun, it actually looks pretty good, and this one could actually be law-friendly. Yes, it could. The Starfield timeline is the same as the one we're living in right now, so the Fallout games existed in the Starfield timeline. And let's face it, even if the last game was made centuries ago, the modding scene would still be working on it. This is where we belong.